it is always a pleasure to greet you. Today, with a very interesting topic, and perhaps little known, which is called bloatware or bloat software. What is this bloatware? Well, they are all those tools, applications that come installed, pre-configured or pre-installed on a machine when you buy it. Call it a cell phone, call it your computer, a tablet. You know that many applications come installed, many of them, with tools such as spying or remote monitoring, telemetry as it says, Microsoft Windows. Then, many of these tools, what they do is lower the performance of the machine and really do not need them. Then come issues of, for example, the manufacturer of the network card, the manufacturer of the video card, etc. All that software that really surpluses us and that what it does is to spy on us or to lower the performance of the machine and to generate weight to us because it is called bloatware, bloat software, or bloatware as you see, because applications that we do not use and that we can remove, including all that software that we do not want to monitor us. Then today, we're going to talk about a tool that allows us to remove easily and quickly that information. The tool that we're going to look at is called Win11 Dbloat. It is a tool that is being updated permanently, and that allows you to choose specifically what you want to remove and what you want to leave. And it allows you to configure your Windows 11 in a much more optimal way. Again, I'll tell you something that I always repeat. Obviously, I cannot be responsible for the operation of this tool. My recommendation to you is that mount a Windows 11 virtual machine and run this tool on the virtual machine. See how it works. Test it. Be reassured that nothing will be damaged. And then yes, if you want to apply this tool to your physical machine, but first try it because it may fail something. Important that you give a look at what the tool does. If you want here, we can see the PS1 as you see being PS1. This runs in PowerShell. This is something created in PowerShell. Then, well, here you see all the parameters that it creates. Look, for example, default execution, remove developer device applications. In fact, disable the copilot, for example, disable the recall. Does it automatically this tool? Remember that the recall, well, there is a recall that Microsoft was advertising that was a tool that allowed to take screenshots of what you were doing. And then with artificial intelligence, you could see what you had done previously and have that recall, like that memory. But that generated a lot of controversy because they could spy on you, etc. Then Microsoft decided to make changes. This video is not intended to talk about recall. But well, there you have some parameters that you can remove from recall. And well, here is the tool. You can look at what the code does so you can be sure that suddenly you will not, you are not going to install something strange, that you are not going to install suddenly a malware or something like that. Then you can see here, in the win11debloat.ps1, what the application does, you can review the source code. Then, what we have to do to be able to install it. I'm not going to go to look at the detail of the source code right now. Really, it's not the objective of the video. I will show you the tool, and already, you review it. If you have some specific question with what the code does, then tell me in the comments. The win11debloat can be installed in different ways, the simplest of all. As I said, this is a PowerShell. Then you can use this command. Copy this command. And look, it will make a download of type rest of the HTTPs page. Raw GitHub. Content refer windows. Of the PS1. Of the get PS1, it's going to execute. The get.ps1. You can take a look here. What it does, the get PS1. Again, the advantage is that you have everything. And well, there you see that it runs absolutely the initial parameters of the machine or of the tool actually is going to be an invoke web request. The IRM is this, an invoke request from GitHub, from debloat. It's going to look for the master zip and is going to mount in temporary a temp.zip file, the win11 debloat temp.zip, then generates some tests of the path. And well, there you see it does the decompression and everything else you can check the detail. The huge advantage of these codes is that come in source so you can be checking what it does. Do not trust blindly in anything that you download because you will be doing it on your machine. In the future, on your production machine, on your final machine. That's why the recommendation is to test it on a virtual, always test it on a virtual first. Well then look, I am going to copy this and they tell us here to open 
a PowerShell terminal as administrators. Then I go here to my Windows 11 to the Start button. I write PowerShell. And here in Windows PowerShell, as I want the terminal, not the IC, right-click, Run as Administrator, and it will open a terminal window, a terminal of PowerShell. There it will be. You don't see this very big. Then I'm going to change a little the properties so that this is a little better, right? Then the size of the letter, I am going to put it like in 28. Okay, there you see better, and we'll paste the command that we placed in the GitHub, the creator of the tool. Then we are going to press Enter, and the tool begins to run. It's going to download. Look at that. The download, it's downloading. Win 11 debloat. It can also run certain things on Windows 10, but I'm showing you Windows 11, because I assume most of you are already using Windows 11, we're trying to make things as up-to-date as possible. So, well then, there it's running. It created this temporary zip file. And well, it's expanding. It's unzipping it, in theory. Done. And it opens up a new terminal for you. It tells you, actually, inside the GitHub, where it's going to show you the different options. Then look, you have the option of apply the default settings or custom mode you choose, or you can modify the scripts you are going to run. You can do it in Remove Applications mode. Just select and remove the applications without making any other changes. I'm going to go into Mode 2. Mode 2, where we can control everything. Then we can tell it, look, don't remove any applications, or just remove the default selection of bloatware, or remove the default selection of the bloatware applications, as well as the calendar and the mail, the applications you can remove if you don't want them, also the game applications, etc. Or I can select what I would recommend you to select, which applications to remove and which to keep, then it would be option three in this case. Enter. And it brings us a screen where we have the options. It shows us all, okay? But you can tell it only, show me what I have. But look at everything that it's available for you to remove but I'm going to tell it only show me what I have installed as to have total clarity because there are things that your machine does not have. So this is a virtual machine where I'm doing it that I mounted by default. I just downloaded it from Microsoft and we're running it. So look, it takes a moment loading all the applications that you have there. This is fine. It gave me this error. I said, okay, nothing happens. There are some applications that will not show. You can try the different options take a snapshot of the virtual machine and then run the tool in different ways so that later you know which is the one that best suits to your needs. So look, I have these tools installed, Bing News, Bing Weather, all of Microsoft Office Hub. I don't want any of that. Windows Feedback Hub, Windows Maps, none of that really works for me. Zoom Video. Well, I'm going to confirm those options. I want to remove all that. You can add whatever you want. You can remove the calculator, the camera, the whole Xbox part. For example, I'm going to remove the Xbox TCU and the Xbox game overlay. I'm going to remove it, the Xbox provider, all this from Xbox, from Uphone, Zoom, that I'm going to remove. I tell it confirm. Done. It asks us, do you want to disable Xbox in the part of record Xbox screen? I'm going to say yes and stop all the Xbox pop-ups. That will be much appreciated by the gamers. The truth is very tiresome. I am going to say yes. Remove all applications pinned in the start menu. For this user only or for all users. And any new ones to come. Then, I will tell it to remove them for everyone. Disable telemetry, diagnostics, activity tracking, activity history, launching, targeted advertising apps, and so on. Yes, take all that away. Disable tips, tricks, suggestions on startup, notifications. Also on the lock screen. I'm going to tell you, yes, remove all of this for me. Disable and remove. Bing searches. Bing and Cortana, artificial intelligence. That one I don't need to remove, but it's up to you. That one, I'm not going to tell it to remove. 
Disable Copilot. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to tell him to remove Copilot. Disable Recall Snapshots. Remember what I was talking about? I told you that Recall takes snapshots of your screen. Not all. All architectures run, etc. But well, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to get rid of Recall. Restore the context menu of Windows 10. The truth is, I like the context menu of Windows 10. I do not like the one of Windows 11 because of the icons of copy-paste. I prefer the traditional. It is your decision. Do you want to make changes to the taskbar and related services? I'm going to say yes. Align the buttons to the left side. I'm going to say yes. For example, you are going to see the change in the architecture. Done. Hide the search icon. No. Show the search icon on the bar. Yes. If. There it is. I'm going to tell. Show me. The search field. I'm going to tell it for. Show search icon from taskbar. Yes, I'm going to tell it for. Hide the. Task view button. I'm going to tell it no. Disable service widgets and hide taskbar icons. I'm going to say yes want to make the changes to the Explorer. I am going to tell the file Explorer, I'm going to say yes to make changes in the Explorer. To show me the hidden files, the folders, the drives, I'm going to say yes to show them to me. To show the extensions of files of known type. Yes, especially if we are going to make analysis of malware. This is very useful. To make it show, to show you all the extensions of the known files. Because, because you need to know them. Hide. The gallery section of File Explorer. I'm going to say no. Hide. Duplicate drives in the Explorer. So you're going to show it only inside the PC. No, I'm going to say no. Done. Want to disable any context menu option? No, I do not want to disable them. Now we will have to hit enter to confirm all the options we gave it. Enter. Control C to finish without making changes. Then look there, it's removing Clipchamp. It is going to remove 22 applications. It can take a moment. Look there it goes. It is doing... It is removing different Microsoft tools. I'm going to stay here if you want. Fast forward the video. But, you can see it is working. It is removing the weather. The Microsoft Beam weather. The get started. The Microsoft Office Hub. So as you can see, it is option by option by option. Removing everything we told it to remove. It is removing the Sticky Notes Solitaire collection. As I was saying, you can try the different options to decide which is the best customization, the best configuration that you want for your machine. Because maybe you do not want to remove everything that I removed. You only want to remove some things. You can run it several times and go selecting in each opportunity what you want to remove. Then you decide how to run it. The Zune thing that was the last thing, Zune was the MP player from Microsoft, didn't last long. Obviously the iPod displaced Zune almost immediately. Well, it disabled certain themes and already. So finished, we can give enter. It is cleaning and already this, I can close it. Look, we already have the menu to the left. If for example, well, I'm going to close the navigator. We can open the explorer. For example, we are going to see that all the files are there. Even the hidden ones are going to show us is making some adjustments still. We have this PC, for example, the C. Look, there are even hidden files or hidden directories. There they are. We have right click. Let's see. Look at the old Microsoft Windows menu where we have the copy, cut, etc. I missed that menu. The truth, the new menu, call me. Archaic, obsolete as you want, but I like this menu. So look, it already made the adjustment. We have the menu on the left. We have the button here without any problem. And it removed all those telemetry and spying tools that we really don't want. The invitation is to try it on a virtual machine. Do not do it directly on your production machine to avoid taking risks. But it's a very interesting tool to remove spying and things we do not need on our machine. As always, I hope you liked it. Remember to subscribe to the channel.